Hi there, welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So today's video is gonna be all about my growing cucumbers indoors, round two. <laughs> so if you've been following me on my channel, you'll know that I've been struggling to have success with my indoor cucumbers this year inside my grow tent. So I am going to try um, another two varieties of cucumbers here. I've picked up these seeds from West Coast Seeds and they are the mini me and the socrates cucumbers and if you are attempting to grow cucumbers indoors one thing you really have to make sure of is that the variety of seeds that you are using are the parsnocarpic variety which means that they only produce female flowers and you don't have to worry about pollination so that's what helps you know with the success of having cucumbers grow indoors and you getting a good you know supply of cucumbers so the Socrates variety I used last year I bought the seeds from West Coast last year they always have great seeds and they always have a germination rate listed down on the corner and they also have an expiry date on here so you know that you're getting good fresh seeds because that is important with cucumbers as well the other variety that I'm trying that I haven't tried before is this mini me and when I was on the website for West Coast one of the reviews said that this was a good variety that worked well in the crack key hydroponic method and that's what I'm going to be doing here so I'm hoping that I have success with these as well. So I started them up in three inch net cups because that's what is going to fit into the lid of my container here when they're fully set up. And I just like to save time and not have to worry about starting seedlings in another container and having to move them into a net cup. So I started them right in these three inch net cups and they fit really well in these wide mouth mason jars. So I just put them in here with some of the clay balls, a little bit of, um, just a little bit of rock well with the seed in there just kept them spritzed and moist and just had regular water in the bottom and as you can see we have some good roots coming here now and they are hungry and looking for some nutrients so we want to get them set up in some nutrient water right away you see here lots of good roots so I've already mixed up one batch of nutrients here. I like to use just a four liter jug because it makes the measuring easy. I followed the table on the back of my three part nutrients here from General Hydroponics. And we are just at the seedling stage, of course. So it's a very mild recipe of just, I think two and a half milliliters of each of these into this four liter jug. So I just need to fill up my container high enough so that the roots can reach that nutrient water and as soon as they start you know sucking up those nutrients they'll grow really fast and grow into this really well so you also want to make sure when you're filling up your container with the nutrient water that you don't fill it up too full these roots need air to breathe and to grow so you want to just kind of set it up so that just the ends of these few roots are reaching that nutrient water so once these little roots start feeding on that nutrient water you'll see that you'll get a really good root system going but you always want to make sure that you leave air for some of those roots as well So I filled up my container about three quarters full. I can see that these, by testing it out here, that these little roots are able to reach that nutrient water. And that is pretty much it. These are set up in their home and they are ready to go into my grow tent. So I wanna make sure I can keep track of my two cucumbers here when I put them in the grow tent. So I'm just going to make sure they're both properly labeled. This is the Socrates. If you've watched me on my videos, you know that I always use the Folgers containers. They are so easy to convert into a vessel that's perfect for cracky. The lids are very easy to cut the hole to size. 
So I have these set up to fit a three inch net cup. I have some of them for a two inch net cup, depending on what I'm growing. This is a slightly bigger um, container, so you know maybe that'll work better for the cucumbers, but I find that uh, both these sizes work well. Hopefully this four liter batch will be enough for both of these containers. We'll just check and see if the roots are going to be able to reach that nutrient water. It's a pretty good size root there. So as long as one or two are able to uh, reach those roots, I'll be happy with that. Just do a little check here. Yeah, and I can see for sure that these roots are reaching that nutrient water. So this one is also ready to go. So that's why I like to try and find ways to just make it easier without having to do a whole lot of work in the process. So planting the seeds directly in the net cup that they're going to be in for their whole lifespan and then just using these wide mouth mason jars was an easy way to get these seeds started. Okay, so these cucumbers are ready to go into my grow tent. Fingers crossed that this round of cucumbers is going to be successful in my grow tent. I'll take you over there and show you how things are in there. Okay, so here we are at the grow tent. I just want to do another little push on this wonderful garden nailer that I purchased. I know it's going to be great to have outdoors in the summertime for kneeling around those raised garden beds and stuff, but it has been a game changer here for me. Beats uh, getting on your knees on the cement. I used to use pillows, but trying to get up and down really, uh, you know, it's been really hard. And this kneeler thing just makes it so much easier to work in my grow tent. So I will leave a link to it down below in the description. So I'm just getting ready to upload this video and it's been two days since I potted up these two cucumber plants. And I just thought I would show you quickly how the roots have already you know, taken off in only two days of being in the nutrient water. If you remember what they looked like when I had them two days ago, you can see that they have shot out a lot more roots. They are growing super fast and they are really happy in this nutrient water. I'm getting to see more leaves at the top. So, so far, so good with my cucumbers. This is the other one here, which had a nice little stringy one. And now, you know, it's got a very thick root going there. Lots of little ones coming along. So in another week or two, there'll be a really good ball of strong roots here. And I got some nice tomatoes coming here on my, I believe this is the Prairie Pride. It is a determinate tomato. It's giving me a few tomatoes. I got some ripening up here. So once these two cucumbers are ready to start vining and need somewhere to crawl up, I will probably be removing this old cucumber plant and giving them some space to grow. I always like to show off my pepper plant here. It's got a nice pepper here. I've actually harvested three peppers off of it so far, so it's been producing well. And the real rock star in my grow tent has been this indeterminate sun gold cherry. This is one that I took a cutting from last fall out of my garden, got it rooted, got it set up here in Kratky, and this thing grows and grows. I chop it down. I you know, watch for some blooming in different areas, just let them go. And as you can see, it just keeps producing more and more sun gold cherries. I did a good harvest off of this just a few days ago. So this thing will probably keep going right until spring when I have to shut down my grow tent. So fingers crossed here that my two cucumbers that I've just started up here are going to be successful and we get some cucumbers. My husband's been waiting patiently all winter for cucumbers out of the grow tent and so far I've only been able to have one and so hopefully we can get some more before it's ready to move to the outdoor garden. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button leave a comment don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. Thanks for watching.